Hi, and thanks for joining us on 2K Sports NBA Action. It's coming up. Brian Anderson here. With me, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson. Joining us courtside is Allie LaForce. Allie, take it away. The Mavericks last season traded away Chris Stapp's Porzingis. Can they find a new number two? Coach Jason Kidd said, quote, we'll see. It could be we'll have no second score, just guys that play roles at a high level. And you see teams win championships that way, too. I have to put guys in position to be successful and find a way to win. Brian. Thanks, Allie. Well, when we look at tonight, this could come down to the backcourts, Grant. They're both very talented. Yeah, B.A., you know I love great guard play. And, of course, each team has some serious skills at that position. So expect a fast pace of play, lots of threes. <laughs> it should be one heck of a matchup. Now let's take a look at the Kings opening lineup. Fox runs point with Herter by his side. Up front, it'll be Murray and Sabonis. And it's Barnes in at the three. And for the Mavericks, we've got Green, Dwight Powell out there with Reggie Bullock. Then it's Kyrie Irving, and it's Doncic in at the point. Now here's Barnes. Down low. Tries again. And there's a nice layup by Sabonis. Nice persistence on the glass. Sabonis understanding how to use his body and length, too. Doncic outside. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Fox with the ball. Outside Herter. Just five to shoot. Sabonis with a screen on Irving. Sabonis outside. Up and over Doncic. And that one's long. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. First quarter, just over a minute played. Inside. And Doncic hammers it home. Yeah, such a creative playmaker. Love seeing Irving find the open teammate and make the right pass. The Kings have gone one for three so far. And this Mavericks team, Grant, they are loaded up on shooters who can hurt you from outside. And that's the way they should be built. Force teams to spread out and give Luka space. And when the Mavs get hot from outside, they are dangerous. Box for three. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Doncic outside. And about two minutes into the first quarter here. Pass to Irving. Let's it go from 14. And he hits the jumper for two. I love seeing Irving's work in the mid-range. Intelligent at reading the defense and recognizing when to take these shots. Now here's Fox. Sabonis with a screen on Doncic. Here's Fox. And another shot. It's hauled in by Luka Doncic. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Outside, Green. Outside, Irving. Let's it go from deep. The rebound by Murray. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Herter passes to Sabonis. That one falls. Sabonis has gotten his second bucket of the game. Getting good position as always. Sabonis going to town. Love his footwork in there. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, and in close games like this one, B.A., you need toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. Now here's Doncic, And the shot goes in. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. That's good from Doncic. And when we talk about franchise players, guys who can carry a team, Luka Doncic is one of the few guys in that category. Now here's Fox. Picked by Sabonis. From 12 feet. Fox can't get that one to fall. 
I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. Doncic against Fox. Doncic passes to Green. Here's Irving. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Something that's not talked about is that he is a high IQ player. you got to respect how fast Kyrie makes decisions, especially when it comes to shooting the ball. Timeout called. Sacramento. Different look for Dallas. McGee, he's checked in for Powell. Wood comes in for Bullock. And Hardaway subbed in for Green. Here's Monk. to Mitchell back to Monk Holmes with it covered by McGee Holmes no good the Mavericks have gone four of six in the first quarter the 11 footer another one falls for Dallas at this point in his career look Kyrie knows who he is and that that's a shot he wants to take in a league with the most skilled athletes in the world, Kyrie Irving just stands out. He can do anything with his handle, and he has every finish around the hoop. Mitchell with the ball, guarded now by Wood. And it's Lyles missing. And Dallas with possession. Big run right now for him, 11-2. Outside for Irving. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. Irving's got nine points. Talking about Kyrie, I'll put you on the spot here, Richard. Is he the most skilled current NBA player? Yes, without a doubt. He is the most skilled current NBA player. And it's really him and then everyone else. Because it's the efficiency in which he can do it. And you did put me on the spot. Obviously, Steph has handles and a shot. The beard can do some crazy stuff also. But Kyrie is my top. Hardy, he's checked in for the Mavericks.
right side, Monk. Over Irving. Sacramento again missing. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. And it's out of bounds to the Mavericks as Dallas retains possession. He had the right idea, just couldn't come up with the swipe. And deflections, they're a stat that all teams track. They show who is the most active defensively. Here's Hardy. 4-3. And McGee with the stuff. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. Now here's Mitchell. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. They need this. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Free throw is good for Mitchell. Both free throws good for Mitchell. And we've got 28 seconds left now in the first quarter. And here is McGee. Past Wood. Clock at six. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Davis, the pass to Mitchell. Shoots over Hardy. Kyrie Irving has been on display for Dallas. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. Back to the game after this break. If you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Mavericks. Great offensive energy in that period. They're clearly on a mission. Can they keep up the pace? Who knows? But they're already in a great position to win this one. At an annual ritual, players finding out their ratings at NBA 2K. All right, Richard, you were customarily happy with your rating, yes? I didn't really care, but a part of my condition of working for 2K is they said that they will retroactively change my rating to 100. The first 100 player. You deserve it, man. They've got Reggie Bullock, Kyrie Irving out there with Tim Hardaway. Then there's Josh Green, and it's Powell in at the center position. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Now here's Fox. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Murray, no good. The Mavericks shooting at a very efficient 67%. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Thanks, Brian. Well, De'Aaron Fox is a competitor. He said, I want to win. I know there's more than I can do. Just trying to create a spark, some type of energy. You can talk about what you did in high school and college, but you have to take it to a totally different level if you want to be one of those guys in the league. Brian? Ali, thank you. Nice ball movement. Good job by Murray to recognize the situation and create the wide open look. Irving, the pass to Hardaway. Rebound by the Kings. That is a disaster. Honestly, I'm embarrassed for him. Murray can score in a multitude of ways, Grant. Oh, yes, he can, B.A. I mean, he can feast from the post, the mid-range, and the three-point line as well. He always plays under control at his own pace, and that's why he looks so fluid out there on the floor. Offensive rebound, Sabonis. And the deficit down inside single digits. Sabonis has got six. What a finish by Sabonis. Threw a little contact, too. I like it. 
Left side Irving. Oh, he finds himself wide open and drills it. And the Mavericks lead by 10. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Sabonis finds Murray. The floater. Bullock puts it in. For Dallas, they've gone 2 of 4 here in the second quarter. Now Hardaway. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. On the wing, Irving. He's got it going on. Now seven for ten. As soon as Irving gets going, well, good luck trying to slow him. Looking flat out dominant right now. Fox outside. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Powell's got four rebounds in the game. For three, Hardaway. And the three-pointer goes. Hardaway's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. They've been the more poised team tonight, and the score reflects that. And it's because they're not playing in a rush. They're just letting their shots come naturally within the flow of the offense. Now here's Fox. Sabonis with a screen on Irving. Here's Fox. And here's Sabonis outside. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Hardaway, the pass to Irving. And he gets it to go. He's 8 of 11 now. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. And guys, to go on a big run, get some breathing space. It has to be a great play on each end. Now here's Murray. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Good on the shot. Yeah, how about Murray shaking off the contact? The young guy doesn't let it affect him on his shot. And Dallas calls time here. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. And it's a completely new group here for the Mavericks. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the second quarter. Wood with the screen. Here's Hardy. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Ooh, might have rushed that one a little bit. Pretty clean look inside. Pass to Lynn. And here's Davis. Down to five on the shot clock. From outside, off the mark. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. Mitchell against Doncic. And Doncic hammers it home. 
That's what happens when you let Doncic get this close, using his vertical to perfection. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Now here's Davis. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Stolen by Davis. Pass to Holmes. Now here's Monk. This one for three. Again, the miss by the Kings. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And there's the lob. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Mitchell against Doncic. Outside Monk. Fires the three. Holiday grabs the miss. And so it's Dallas leading by 17 at the end of the period. Building this lead up in large part because of how well they're shooting it. We'll be right back. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Well, you look at Kyrie Irving in this game. He's been everywhere. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. Taking a look at Sacramento. Up front, it'll be Murray and Sabonis. Fox runs point with Herter by his side. And it's Barnes in at the three. And this right here, this is routine for Kyrie. You're going to have to make him work a little bit harder because his jumper is as consistent as it gets. And there's Sabonis. That one's good. On the assist by Fox. Sabonis has got eight points. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. Herter against Irving. With a step back. Kicks it to Doncic. Off the mark there with a three. Time called here. The Kings decide to talk it over. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, they need to regroup and maybe try and draw something up that can get them a clean look at the basket. Lyles, he's checked in for the Kings. All right, Richard, I was looking over your accomplishments, doing a little extra prep on you. An NBA title with the Cavs, a state title in high school, and almost won it all in college at Arizona. Is that the one what-if in your career? 
Oh, no. Thank you for bringing those up. But, uh, yeah, I have tons of what ifs. I have, you know, obviously the college championship. I also got Athens in the 04. And look, just for giggles, I also like to talk about the two times I lost in the NBA Finals going against Shaq and Kobe, then Tim Duncan, David Robinson, and Manu Ginobili. But the funny thing is, it's not like they didn't have Hall of Fame head coaches. It was only Phil Jackson and Greg Popovich. So, you know, I've run into a few buzz saws in my day. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's Irving. He's got 19. Green with the ball. Checked by Murray. And the foul called on Harrison Barnes. That's his first foul. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Oh, that's some pesky defense. Should have thought twice before attempting that pass. Lyles a screen. It's Fox with a drive. And Fox powers it home. Yeah, Fox can be so slippery on the drive, making those little adjustments to get by the defense. Now here's Doncic. He has seven. Just five on the clock. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's on De'Aaron Fox. And you can't let Doncic get this type of positioning because then you're pretty much forced to foul him. And you look at the intangibles of Luka Doncic. He has some of the best court awareness in the league, and that shows up most with his passing and body control. And that free throw, no good. And the way Doncic can feel the defenders around him speaks to his great court sense, Grant. Uh, no question. And the elite footwork he has makes the most of it. I mean, one of the best at shielding defenders with his body. It's really how he can navigate through a defense with ease. He hits the second from the line. For Sacramento, they've gone three of three in the second half. Herder passes to Murray. Here's Lyles. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. down the first one and he makes both free throws some big guys struggle at the line not him he's put in the work to defy that assumption Pass to Irving. The shot from the low post is good. Irving's got four points this quarter. This man is a three-level scorer. And this level, by the rim, there is nobody like Kyrie Irving in that touch he has. And it's Lyles missing. The Mavericks have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. And here is Irving. Herder defending. And it's Irving missing. Oh. He just can't resist the urge to try and do something special, and it cost them two points. Lyles a screen. Herder with it. Picked up by Powell. Lyles. Oh, great D that time from Powell. So it's the Mavericks now. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. Here's Irving. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. A different look for Dallas. Kleba comes in for Bullock, and Hardaway is subbed in for Green. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Lenz checked in for Lyles. Holmes comes in for Murray. Davis, he's checked in for Barnes. And it's Monk in for Herter. The 
Ooh, that one misses for Powell. The Kings have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Davis against Hardaway. Davis, the pass to Fox. Here's Lynn. Six to shoot. From the arc. And Kyrie Irving clears the rebound. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting it well at 59%. Doncic outside. Kleba, screen on Monk. Monk against Doncic. Shoots over Monk. A nice shot by Doncic. Doncic has got 10. When you watch Luka play, you can't forget he's 6'7". He can more than hold his own inside. There's a screen by Lynn. Drills it from deep. Defensively, got to close out a little faster. That's a look he'll make with regularity. Hardaway, the pass to Doncic. Over Fox. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. And I love Doncic's shot selection. So smart at knowing when to shoot it. A minute 22 left in the third quarter of the game. Pass to Holmes. From outside the arc. And it's Fox missing. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks for rain. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. And Doncic hammers it home. <laughs> I tell you, a little extra pressure on D when you're up against a point guard who can elevate. Ha, it doesn't make it easy, does it? Yeah, hard to strategize for a guy who can make a pass or a play like this right in your face. And it's Fox with the jam. Flashing that creativity is so much fun watching Fox carve up defenses like this. Doncic on the wing. Baseline try. Again, Doncic missing for Sacramento. They've gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Pass to Fox. It's Monk on the wing. He's guarded by Irving. And it's Monk missing. Kleba passes to Doncic. The basket drops. And he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And going right through the contact. Luka has tremendous strength. Especially for a guy who handles the ball so much. Here's Sabonis, and he converts the layup. Sabonis has got four points in the quarter, and so it's Dallas leading by 17 at the end of the period. They've had incredible success defensively, taking away good looks and pressuring shooters. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. Woo, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. Not just playing selflessly, but also making a smart decision with the ball. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. We've got Justin Holiday. Reggie Bullock is out there with Christian Wood. Then it's Hardy, and it's Green in a small forward. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Now here's Barnes. Here's Herter. Three-pointer, no good. Herter's gone one of three shooting so far. Outside, Green. On the wing, Holiday. Back to Bullock. 
Pass to Hardy. Over Murray. They get it back. Another shot. Got it. Hardy's got his first basket. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Now here's Sabonis. Back to Mitchell. And he lobs it up top. Murray, no good. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. Just go to show how tight your timing needs to be on this kind of play. That's what you need your bigs to do. Step up and control the defensive glass. Herter passes to Sabonis. A good-looking shot from the wing. As a coach, you know that you can count on Sabonis to give you a double-double every night. Pass to Hardy. Holiday a screen on Mitchell for three. Hardy, he buries it from three. Hardy's got five points now this quarter. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Now here's Murray. Sabonis, right side. The shot, no good. So the Mavericks will take it the other way. Here's Holiday. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. When it comes to Justin Holiday, fans know they're getting two things. All-out effort and durability. And the kind of reliability you talked about with Holiday, Richard, that's crucial for a team. Yeah, no doubt. You know Holiday's going to be on the floor every night, putting in quality minutes, doing the little things. First free throw is good. Both teams deciding to change it up. Holiday hits them both. The Kings have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Box the pass to Barnes. Now here's Sabonis. Now covers from about 19. And Sabonis the bucket on the assist by Murray. We all know that Sabonis would much rather get all the way to the hoop. But nice job choosing the mid-range. That's the shot that the defense was giving him. Now here's Irving. To the paint. Ooh, stolen by Murray. Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. It's Barnes on the wing. Picked by Sabonis. Barnes, no good. Dallas has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Outside Irving. Holiday is screen on Herter. Here's Irving. Dallas again missing. For Sacramento, they've gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Nice move. And off the front iron, and in it goes. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Time called here. The Mavericks decide Time to talk out. it over. Sabonis is a dominant interior scorer. He's got the touch, the strength, and a wide array of post moves to work with.
Hardaway's checked in for the Mavericks. Doncic comes in for Holiday. The Kings also with a sub. Davis is checked in. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Doncic against Fox. Dallas again missing. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It goes on Dwight Powell. It's the versatility and the unpredictability of what Sabonis does that makes him so hard to match up with, which is why he gets these easy tic-tac fouls. Shoot two. First one falls for him. Sabonis is a guy who works hard on both ends of the floor, and he does things, look, he does things the right way. Sabonis drops them both. Dallas has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Doncic against Fox. Outside Irving. Back to Doncic. Powell, a screen on Fox. Hits the trifecta. Doncic has got 20. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality even with the game in total control. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throat now. Shots good by Sabonis. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And this team's offensive catalyst Doncic puts pressure on the defense every possession. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Dallas. He's off on the first. And the Mavericks with some changes. McGee, he's checked in for Powell. Kleba comes in for Bullock, and it's Hardy in for Irving. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Lenz checked in for Sabonis. Lyles comes in for Murray. Monk, he's checked in for Herter. And Mitchell subbed in for De'Aaron Fox. And the second free throw is good. 125 left in the fourth. And they were really able to find the mismatches they wanted and exploit those all night. Great execution from the players and coaching staff for the Mavericks. They made the most of the extra rebounds tonight. Helped them out a lot. So when you look at these teams, they're both great rebounding clubs. And any night, either one could have the advantage on the boards. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Kyrie Irving. It's hard to think of a part of the game where he didn't play a major role mentally, physically. I mean, he showed us what he's capable of when he's feeling his best. To the middle. And McGee with the stuff. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. Now here's Mitchell. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That one on Doncic. The first thing I think of when watching Davion Mitchell is defense. Mitchell entered the league as one of the best on-the-ball defenders out there. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
And the first one at the line is good. Holiday's checked in for Hardaway. Both free throws good for Mitchell. And here are the Mavericks now. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Outside Holiday. Kleba screen on Davis. Six on the shot clock. Holiday finds Kleba. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Here's Doncic. Rebounded by Lyles. Here's Mitchell. And so Dallas takes this one by a big margin. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort, and they were just dominant out there. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Luca, you played well tonight, and your team got the win. Those two usually go together, but what else made the difference? Yeah, I think we had a uh, we had a great game. You know, we had a I think it was a great game today. You know, we step up uh, together, play good defense, and it was a great win. Team defense goes a long way. Thanks, Luca. Allie, thank you as always, and that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. Now it's time to present our New Balance Player of the Game, Kyrie Irving.